from Music for the Revolution, and I'm here with Trent from 10,000 Songs for Good. And we are joined with Shane Hall Trio. Hi, thanks for having us. Hey guys, thank you so much for coming mm-hmm. in today, and what an amazing job. That was fantastic. Thank you. Yes, I uh, was really looking forward to today. As you know, Shane, we've <laughs> got a little bit of a history, <laughs> and I love your stuff, so I was real excited to get you in here. I appreciate the opportunity. Yeah. And you have actually been one of our biggest supporters of Music for the Revolution. From the beginning, man. From the beginning. From when you were, like, thinking about doing it. Yeah. Very excited about that. Now, where did you guys first meet? Fallbrook Brewing Company. Uh, I think it was actually at McGee's. McGee's. Yeah. It was an open mic. Nice. An open mic night and... Tried to recruit him for that project, uh, drinking for Jesus and or with Jesus. <laughs> James like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but so. in in true Jim Jones fashion, you followed up and com- got what you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was great though. I enjoyed it. That's how I. That's why how I ended up at Fallbrook Brewing. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So we've had a. Uh, some fun playing shows together and Indeed. other things, too. Indeed. So, Shane, why don't you introduce your band for us? All right, on percussion, this is Josh Frontiero, um, Temeculan native. <laughs> and then we have Mr. Marco Savoya, the infamous, and uh, he's out of Oceanside. And um, my go-to fellas and cohorts. Yes. You've actually got a lot of fun shows coming up this year. I do. I do. I've had a bunch. Still got a couple more left. It's been a great year. It's going by a little fast. So I kind of like enjoy having cool things on the calendar. Well, so, tell us a little bit about some of the shows. Um, well, earlier this year we did a West Coast tour. Uh, we went um, all the way up to Seattle, pretty much. And then we finished at Lightning in a Bottle, which is a major festival in Bradley. Um that was about two week excursion and then um, since then uh, I've had some national support gigs opened up for Simmel Solo and I opened up uh, we opened up for Teskey Brothers at Belly Up Tavern a couple weeks ago and um, I also got the nod for Kaboo this year Yeah. so I'll be doing Kaboo not as a trio I'm going to be it looks like about a six piece Nice. nice. So we're doing, doing some. Brought in Jody Bagley, who's yeah. a world renowned keys player, and uh, I, I would say universe renowned, universe renowned, <laughs> and um, 
and we got some horn players too uh, that also played on my upcoming record. Nice. Yeah, I only put out some records, put out a couple singles so far. Nice. We, I have a big old diabolical scheme coming up here for um, the release of uh, my full album slash triple EP, West River Queen, which will be divulged soon. Nice. Yeah. Any, any tentative date on when it'll be out? Um, well, I'm going to start releasing it in um, September. So after nice. Kaboom, uh, late September. Um, basically, I can give you a quick rundown of it. Basically, I'm going to do a uh, digital release uh, timed out. So it'll hmm. be like a couple songs, a music video, then the Holy nice. P, and then I'll just do it. So it's going to be like a 14-week process nice. leading up to a vinyl release. Awesome. Vinyl's great. Right. Indeed. Way to go these days. Indeed. Indeed. Hmm. you guys tick what gets you up here um I was influenced by my mom uh oh you mean music <laughs> music <laughs> yeah, it might be it too. my mom yeah she's uh she was the first one that like you know we we're in her Dotson her like 78 Dotson and uh she was bumping like Alan Parsons project and stuff nice. and I was like mom what's this song it was Eye in the Sky yeah. I'm like wow it's like the best noises ever. But uh, it started at home and then uh, branched out to like 
hip hop R and B and then shifted into grunge and all the nineties stuff and then um back then back down to the sixties and then traced me into the blues and yeah. funk and soul. So it just kinda of bounced around. And then these guys influenced me up when I play with them, like they're uh both very seasoned, trained jazz guys and musicians and um we get weird. No, it's good. I heard heard all that, all the influences in there. Yeah. I heard the jazz beats, and I heard the, your fingers were dancing on the bass over there. Yeah. So that was awesome. Thank you. So we got quite a few songs from you, more than usual. How many did we get this time? It was six. Six? Or seven. Six, seven. seven. You have the record. It was seven. Well, I've been writing short songs because, A, it's a lot more fun to write short songs. Cause you get it done, you get the point across, you don't drag it out. People listen to the whole song. Hopefully, um, <laughs> my, to make it yeah. you know, I know, like you, no one wants to hear a six-minute song now. So yep. I've been writing everything right around three and a half minutes. Nice, so hit the target. But live, we'll jam them out. You know, we tend to we play a lot of like working gigs and stuff where we got to cover three, four hours. So that's where we can work on material and see what works, what doesn't, and drag stuff out. Well, it definitely helps us get to that 10,000 mark a little bit sooner. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you at right now? <laughs> yeah, we got about 9,920 to go. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Damn. Hey, progress. <laughs> We're working on it. Yeah. yeah. Progress. No, it's coming together. <laughs>
careful what you wish for You might get it What you gonna do What you gonna do when your dream come true from the left coming at you from the right coming for you in the day It's just um, it's just a anthem for the um, like kind of romantic uh, version of just kind of like living the moment, you know. Like, hey, this is great. We're in a great place. You're great. You make me feel great. Let's be great. It doesn't really matter what happens, kind of. Yeah. Um, and then what do we do? Numbers. Embers. Embers is also a, it's a it's a bit of that carpe diem kind of same vein. Seize the day. Yeah. You know that I wrote that though when I was like having when I was struggling with my destiny. Like I'm like I really want to do this music thing, but I really want to eat too. <laughs> so Starving so music. I was just like man, and like I was like afraid, like I was afraid that I have to do something else to make money and spend. Um, too much time and effort on something that's not music yeah. so I'm like well if I do I'm still gonna have them embers burning 
you know, and that'll give me my energy and what I need to do to get everything done. Nice. So, hence, the original title was End the Ember's Glow, but nobody can say that right <laughs> or remember it, so it's just called Ember's. Like um, vacancy, vacancy is your standard heartbreak kind of oops I messed up kind of situation and um but you you know you're kind of doing your time like it's like a penance a penance song nice. uh I wrote it in a different delivery than I have pretty much any other song written before um I really like it it's one of my favorite more favorite new ones I just put that out we just actually with these guys on the record we just put awesome. that out um with Jody uh, like two weeks ago so it's on all the streaming things um, Spotify uh, Apple Music and all that YouTube so there'll be a video coming um, what's after vacancy oh, we did. Black, Black Gold, Gold. Oh, yeah. Black Gold is kind of uh, like a careful what you wish for thing it's like you know uh, like what are you going to do when your dreams come true mm-hmm. like exactly like you you know, everybody, not everybody realizes that to get what you need and to get what you want in the world, you got to work super duper hard. And once you get it, you got to work even harder and keep working. And you got a different kind of stress and stuff you got to deal with. Yeah. And people, you know, will try and take from you. And the world will try and take from you. And circumstance will try and mess you up so you just got to be kind of ready yeah and you know just kind of roll with the punches a little that's just basically all that's about yeah um slow knife it's kind of uh kind of about being an asshole <laughs> um it's about uh small cuts like you know it's like everyone you know you get real excited about something you go gung-ho and like, bah! Well, Slow Knife is the opposite. Not the opposite. You're still going, but you're going slow. One step at a time. One cut at a time. All right. And you take down your giants with a spoon. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know, one bite at a time kind yeah. of thing. So, um, But it's written kind of in a negative connotation, like where maybe what you want, you want from somebody else, and it's not necessarily good for them but it's not necessarily an issue to you Yeah. at that point. Sometimes you just got to take it. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, you don't. You're not supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shane Holm does not con- condone that message, whatever he just said. Uh, it's not what my son... Don't just take it. <laughs> <laughs> don't be influenced. Right. Um, and then... Man. Banged him out. Not you. Not you is a really nice way of saying you don't matter. And that was that, that kind, like of kind of funky one. Yeah. yeah, okay. That's cool. Yeah. I would say we kind of wrote that together. Cause, on tour, like almost. We, this yeah. This was the first time we played it. Just playing it live and since then. Um, but I'm working on an EP that I'll, that will probably work that in. I'm doing um, an EP called Body Language, and it'll be like more funky soul stuff. And I'm doing um, a mixtape called... Moonlight and Palm Trees and it's going to be some of the same songs but one's going to be like hip hop mm-hmm. and Different pop and the other one's going to be funk and soul nice uh, down the road I got a lot going on <laughs> for now I still got 20 songs put out this year but um and then the final Lady Cobra Lady Cobra is just a modern exaggeration of the courting ritual slapped with a snake charming metaphor mm, so nice. the snake's the woman the charmer's the guy you know and if, if, if you mess up you can get bit and die so <laughs> that's pretty that, much that's pretty much how that was a cool one that was a cool one with the bass groove to start we actually that um that song it has been recorded in ages ago uh but we've reimagined it or just realized the proper imagination for it uh, with Marco and Josh hitting hitting the rhythm section first and foremost back backing down guitars and then the addition of Jody 
on vo- on vocals, we get a real Alice in Chainsy kind of harmony nice. situation flowing through the whole song, and it just it's like my new favorite old song. Oh, <laughs> Brings so, life back to it. Yeah, so we're probably gonna end up re-recording that at some point too. Yeah. Cool. That's a that's a that's a good one. When we would play some of the solo things, that was one of my favorite ones to play. Yeah. It's a uh, another one that's unique. In my song, I've written about, I tried to count them the other day, I've written over like 90 songs. Hmm. And it's one of the ones, it's one that's very unique in that pile of songs. Like there's no other, I don't have any other ones that really sound like that. And, nice. um, which is cool because it makes me not like get tired of it, I guess. It's got its own vibe to it. Yeah, I don't that's hate cool. it. Yeah, out of those 90 plus songs though, I only like about 17 of them or so. <laughs> <laughs> tolerate <laughs> tolerate like 21 of them you know
just had a, a nice video that just came out recently, too. I did. Uh, I shot a video for my single, Tomorrow, which was my other single I put out. Um, and uh, it's I shot it with cinematic art and sound in Oceanside. They have a killer uh, production house going on over there. Nice. Like, full studio, um, sound stage, uh, infinity wall, tons of cameras and, like, stuff beyond any access we would have yeah. for reasonable amounts of money. And yeah. um, they killed it. They knocked out of the park. I'm like kind of blown away by my own product for once. Yeah, that's good. Good. Which was dope. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. It's good because sometimes you release stuff and you just doubt it. You doubt every, the reception that it'll yeah. have. You nitpick it. Yeah, you find you one or two things you're like, I you crazy. hate that. And people but, tell you they love it. You're like, yeah. oh, there's that part. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They they did a great job. That's awesome. uh, audio too. They have a guy over there named Tommy. He kills it. Um, and then Jesse is the camera guy. He's uh, he's the man. Um, but the, they're a good team. They they had three people on that shoot, like three of their people. And I was there. I was so sick that day. Like, I don't really get sick too often or sick enough where I let it matter. Yeah. But man, that day I was like not feeling it like mm. phone like pretty bad um food poisoning kind of things. So I like oh, threw no. up and then I had fever and I was just feeling didn't sleep. So I didn't sleep. I still felt like crap, but I couldn't cancel because they set up for like ten hours the day before yeah. oh, my. for the shoot. And I'm just like, Oh, they're dude 'cause I know they probably you know I mean <laughs> if they weren't friends they they bill you for it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I don't want to waste anybody's time. So I'm like, all right, hold on. And I I was late. I did. I, I was like, hey, I'm going to be a little late. Like 90 minutes. And um, they were cool. And I showed up and we knocked it out, man. They were pros. And um, two weeks later, I had like a killer music video. That's Amazing. awesome. Yeah. Right on.
Listen how I play, baby Checking my every move, sing a song for me. It'll all be over so She can go quiet or silent. Spit fire with corn running blood. Either. Just
since we're giving shout outs to uh, people who are doing awesome things, we also want to give a shout out to our sponsor for today's show. Today's sponsor is Taylor Digital. Nice. And they are an awesome digital agency that has done our website for Music for the Revolution. Yeah. And they do fantastic work for online digital work. Uh, we also want to thank Shay, our engineer here Shea. today at uh, Sonic Rocket Studios. And it's an awesome place. If you like to record some music, a great place to do it. Shay does excellent work. And um, I think, too, we got to say something about the beards. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the last Usu- of one. Usually, one. Trent and I are the only ones with one beards. And here we've got some serious competition. I mean, we do. <laughs> there is probably about four feet of beards in here. <laughs> oh, at least. It's a small child. Yeah. Yeah. I can't grow it on the head anymore, so. Yeah. It's on top of it. Yeah, the beards did align. Yeah. Yes. So. But we definitely want to thank you guys so much for coming out today. That was awesome. Um, that was a great huge cool. help for us, and and you know donating the songs, the re- live recordings to help the nonprofit work of Music for the Revolution is just like a huge help, and um, we're real excited about getting this video out. Yeah. And uh, it's a lot of fun having you guys here. Well, thank you, man, for putting in all the work, dude. Like you, you're doing the festival, and you're doing the ten thousand songs, and you, man, like it's. It never stops with you, and that's the way it's got to be to yeah. get anything done. So, um, hat off to you, sir. I'm not really going to take my hat off. I'll tip, <laughs> tip you hat. Yeah, but no, nah, man, like, appreciate you. And thanks for including me and the fellas in, in, uh, in all your s- schemes and wily dealings. Yeah, well, you make it more fun, Shane. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well. All right, guys. Thanks so much again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Be well. Take it back. Bye.